Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends, and glad you could attend. Come inside today, Movie Maniacs, as we take a look at the independent short horror film called I Am Monster, brought to us by directors Shannon Lark and Lori Bowen, who also helped write the screenplay, both of them did. And we basically get the story of Vivian, a woman who has a taboo sexual taste. Uh, she really likes dead people. Really, really likes dead people. And when we, we catch up with Vivian on one of her visits to the morgue, where she you know, uh, embarking on one of those adventures, and uh, it takes a kind of a turn for her when one of the corpses looks back at her. Now, uh, that's all I want to say too much, because it is a short horror film, and I don't want to give too much away. Now, I Am Monster. It is a tantalizingly twisted taboo tale, and a prime example of why I love independent cinema. Uh, it did, Shannon Lark plays the title, the main role of Vivian, and I loved her performance. Uh, she's a very talented actress, and she definitely sells this woman that has an unusual taste. You believe in her character, and, and there's a number of layers there as well. And there are moments in here that may titillate some people. There may, there are going to be moments in here that are going to completely shock people. It, it covers a wide spectrum. There's even some humor in here. There's some reflection in here. There's all kinds of things in here, folks. And that's why I enjoy independent cinema so much. It's about, this movie's about a subject that Hollywood normally would not touch, you would not see on a big screen ever. And they don't have limits. The only limits they have are their budget, which, let me tell you, the production value of this film definitely had a high value look to it. It definitely looked Hollywood. Uh, level production value to it and I was very impressed by the overall look and even the audio now I got to see a rough cut they said there had to be some work to be done and I'm like really because the film looked fairly polished to me in the version that I got to see it so definitely a high production value in here and some fantastic performances by all especially the title role uh, Shannon Lark she just really sells this character but the other uh, supporting cast as well Adam Cardone Jeff Dylan Graham Katie Fry's in here uh, special appearances by Bill Corpsey and Courtney uh, uh, Sandif uh, Sandifier uh, all some great uh, actresses and actresses, actors and actresses in this film uh, that just do a great job with the material they're given. I loved the script. It was definitely an interesting one. And it, it's just really, folks, if you get a chance to see it, uh, keep an eye to the festival circuit and see when it's going to be playing near you in 2014. Go over to their Facebook page, show them some love there with a like. Uh, you can check out stills and stuff from the film. It's definitely an unusual tale and it may not be for everyone's taste but let me tell you it just shows you what independent cinema is doing and why you should be paying attention and thank you so much for watching the final cut as always folks and remember until next time keep that ticket stub